Uh, I first read the script, Paul Apparel and the Midnight Whistle, about eight months ago, and uh, I thought, wow, what an interesting story. We have, you know, established these characters, and now we're putting them in some real danger. And I've always wanted to make a mob action comic book film. Uh, previous Paul Apparel films, I think, were a little more on the camp side, whereas I feel that Midnight Whistle is the dark night of the series. You're dealing with real characters, you're dealing with real bad guys, you're dealing with the mob. You're laying the groundwork for a uh, story uh, dealing with corruption and all the things that go with that. And so it's a deeper character story. Um, as far as the action sequences go, um, we've got, we've upped the ante tenfold. We have a real train. We have uh, you know, big fight sequences, lots of action. Um, it really is the dark night of the series, so it's, uh, it's been fun. In Midnight Whistle, Paula's character is really put to the test. Um, it's the first story where we start to uncover some secrets about her past, and we start to really understand where the character is going. We're dealing with an evil that we haven't seen before and how she deals with it. It's really kind of a prelude to something bigger. Um, we've taken the franchise and we've turned it on a theater. Uh, lots of action, lots of drama, um, telling a really tight-knit story and encompassing all of the brand integrities uh, that the fans for the comic book are expecting to see. Um, but at the same time, I put my own personal spin on it. And with the help of uh, my creative team, uh, we've been able to do some really amazing things. So I think that uh, overall, I think the fans are going to be pretty much blown away by the, the film.